guys, welcome back to the New England Scrapper. Now, today, this video is hopefully going to be a little more educational, as opposed to entertaining. Now, these drives right here, now, okay, let me, let me preface this by saying if you've been doing this for a while, you already know what these are. So, <laughs> this may be more of an entertainment for you than educational but I've got all these C <laughs> I've got all these CD DVD ROM drives out of computers and I just want to get the board out because they're pretty decent value they're just about as valuable as hard drive boards which here for me in the states where I am in New England the person I'm working with it's about or the company I'm working with I think they said it was about $13 a pound 10 to 13, somewhere in there. So, I think this video is definitely going to be more educational than, uh, than entertaining. So, this is more for new scrappers, for sure. But, you can watch me get frustrated with something, because I guarantee that's going to happen at least once. There's going to be something that's going to frustrate me. So, basically what you're going to want to do is just remove this. There's usually about four screws hold this, this cover right here on. So, just light iron, usually. Now this one here is real easy. Because the board's right there. I've seen them where they're under on this side and they're kind of a, they're more of a pain to get out. Now we do have a little bit of ribbon wire here. So you get a little bit of low grade value. So, I try to rip it out if it's there. If not, whatever. I don't, I don't generally worry about it. Now, this one here, this one's gonna, this one's gonna be real easy. You kind of just have to pull it, slash pry it out. So, <clears throat> one of my favorite tools, apart from a drill, <laughs> is this thing here. I use this all the time. This is probably one of my other best investments, is like a flathead screwdriver that I can use to pry things. Now what I've got to do here is I've got to pry these little black tabs. I don't know if you can see them on the camera or not, because I know my camera, my phone camera does not have very good video quality. So I just have to pry those black tabs back. Well, I snap the board on this one. So we got the front half here. Oh, this, this one's okay. I mean, I've seen them better, I've seen them worse. And then we got the back half here. Now, in here, sometimes you have a little bar in here that'll, uh, that'll be brass. This one obviously doesn't have it. A little more ribbon wire. I'll take it out, but I know it's not really worth all that much. And just a tiny, tiny bit of shop wire there. Real small. Now, sometimes you can go for these motors. Um, I usually don't. If they're real easy to pick out, I might, but generally they're a waste of time. <laughs> they're a real pain in the butt to take care of. So that was a real easy one. Um, okay. So this one here is actually a Torx. Which, uh, oh, oh boy. Whoops. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. That whole bit's hiding something. How oh, cool. Well, that's new info for me. Anyways. Don't think either the Torx bits that I have on there are going to fit. So let me just see which one here is going to fit. Alright, this one should work. So. Yep. I think that's... Now, what I, I really need to just get Torx bits for my drill again. I bought a set, and I don't know what I did with it. And it's really frustrating. So, yeah, as you can see, sometimes it takes a little time. But again, for the amount of money these boards are worth, you know, if you, I mean, if you, if you pull the drives out and set them aside and do this, it's a, you know, it's... One of those things that you can call winter work. 
Now, here's a little tip for scrappers. It's something I like to do if I can. And I, I kind of call it, um, like micro-efficiency. And uh, basically what that means is if you have the space, try to stock up. Like if you know you like have a bunch of microwaves to get done or something like that. Like when you get in scrap, try to stock it up. So that way you're not like, all right. Oh, okay, so there's a screw under that sticker I could have taken out. Now this one here, a little bit better board. Not by much, but it's a little bit better. But again, it all goes in as a mixed price. Some of the real new ones are garbage, and I don't even bother taking them out. Because they're just that bad. Again, there's a little bit of wire in here that you can, you know, cut out if you want. Again, generally not worth the time it takes. <laughs> So usually I usually I leave it unless it's right there. And again, the amount's so small you're not really making any extra by cutting out, you know, the wire. It would, it would take a long time to get a pound of wire out of these things. And you've got your little ribbon wire bits you can take if you really want. And that drive is done. Anyways, as I was saying. Like a micro efficiency kind of thing. So if you can, if you can take, uh, you know, your the scrap you get in, if you can kind of stockpile, you know, stockpile a little bit, and hold till you have, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 pieces, you know, whatever you feel comfortable doing in one go, then that could be a really good thing for you. So what you can do is generally. I mean, obviously, there's an exception to the rule, but generally, a lot of them are sort of the same layout. So most of them aren't that aren't that different. So usually, what you can do is just kind of get into the swing of scrapping it, and it, you know it really it really saves a lot of time if you can you know really get into it like a scrapping swing kind of thing so yeah if if I can I, I don't have a ton of space to stockpile things at the moment so I, I really can't do that right now but yeah it's usually a lot better a lot easier and tends to even be a little bit more fun you know depending on who you talk to so this was just kind of you know, real quick little little video on how to you know, increase a little bit more money out of one of your PCs if you really want to. If you're feeling bold. Again, it's not a ton of money, but it's something. And again, it's like I had you know mentioned before there, it's winter work. Or board work or whatever you want to call it. Extra time work, I don't know, there's a million different names you could give it. It's like, uh, you know, smashing the copper out of the CRT yokes. It takes some time. Sometimes. Sometimes those are really easy to get. Other times they're a real pain in the butt. Alright. When will this one come out? Something's holding this up. Oh, I could have just been little tabs. So yeah, this this just goes to show this is one of the newer ones. You can really see the see the size and the board quality di you know differences. You know one or two, three chips on there, and this one's got more. <laughs> Although the one chip on here is a lot bigger, but still, there's more value in this than there is in this. And of course, you got your your gold plated pins. Real hard to see on this camera in that lighting. I know. But yeah, I mean, this is, you know, half of, you know, half the board for the same, same size unit. So the newer ones are a lot smaller and a lot lower in value. That's for sure. There's one board here. I think generally these are low grade boards. But, you know, while we're at it, better money than scrap steel. So, okay, this one here is like a no grade board. There's no, there's pretty much no value to that. 
but you can usually dump those into your low grade. Now, here's a motor that's, you know, that might actually be worth trying to remove. What I generally do with these is just try to pry it until it comes out. That's been my, <laughs> my favorite way of trying to remove these motors. There we go. And you get yourself a little copper motor. Again, not worth opening, but sell it to the scrapyard. They can, they can do it however they take care of their motors there. Alrighty. Well, I know it wasn't a wonderful video, but it was something. You know, one of those little tips and tricks, short scrap kind of thing. So, thank you guys for watching. Well, I appreciate those who stuck through, and I really hope you learned something. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Keep scrapping, guys.